Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for general information and educational purposes only. Students should test cybersecurity techniques in the secured lab setup. I do not take any responsibility, and I am not liable for any damage or problem caused while implementing the tools and technique. So, I just want to highlight why SQL injections are so important and so dangerous. The reason behind that is they are found, you can find them everywhere, a lot of places, a lot of big websites have these kinds of exploits and like things like Yahoo, Google had them. They are very hard to protect against and it's very easy to make a mistake to make these exploits available for exploitation. The other reason that they're very dangerous is that they give you access to the database. In many scenarios, if you find an SQL injection you really don't need to upload the PHP shell or get a reverse connection. There is really no point in uploading stuff and then increasing the danger of being caught. Because if you have access to the database, as we've seen here, you pretty much have everything you need, you have usernames, passwords, you can log in with normal username and a password as a normal user. Or if you are looking for a sensitive data, we can see that we had access to credit cards. You pretty much can do anything you want so there is really no point in trying to further exploit the system. If you found an SQL injection bingo that's all you need really. In many scenarios, we actually use a PHP shell to gain access to the database and see if we can read it. Like for example, if you manage to upload a PHP shell on the server, on this server, the Metasploitable, but then you couldn't access the database. There isn't much that you can see. You can't see credit cards, you can't see username and passwords, you really can't. Yes, you have control over the server, but you can't read stuff. So sometimes when you upload a PHP shell, the next step is, I need to gain access to the database. Another thing is that they can be used to do many things. If you manage to find an SQL injection in a website that is not your target, so it's not the one that you're targeting, but it's in the same server, then you can use it to read files outside the www route. So similar to file inclusion vulnerabilities, you can use it, you can use the admin the username and password for the admin and see if you can upload stuff. Usually, the admin can upload a lot of things instead of just images, and then you can upload a PHP shell or a backdoor from there. And then from there, navigate to the target website. Or, you can actually in some cases, you can use it to upload a PHP shell, you can use the SQL injection to upload a PHP shell. So basically, SQL injections can be used as file inclusion vulnerabilities. They can be used as file upload vulnerabilities. And also they'll give you access to the whole database. That's why they are very, very dangerous and very useful if you manage to find one. I hope you learned something once again in today's lecture. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and enable notifications to keep you updated on the latest ethical hacking topics. Thanks again for watching. Let us move on to the next episode of the SQL Injection Documentary. Peace.